police are warning people in Hooksit to be on the lookout for bottle bombs. Yeah, the warning comes after a man discovered a bottle bomb inside his mailbox on Ridgeview Drive. The bomb squad was called in to detonate this explosive, and Ray Brewer joins us. He's in Hooksit to tell us what the man who found that bottle bomb had to say about this unsettling discovery. Aaron, the man told us when he reached into his mailbox yesterday morning and pulled out that bottle, well, he knew immediately what it was. His first reaction, get it out of his hands. This is what a Hooksit homeowner found in his mailbox on Ridgeview Drive Tuesday morning. A sports bottle packed with ingredients that could make it explode. He found it as he was reaching in to grab his mail. We agreed to protect his identity. When I went out to check the mail, I found a uh, what appeared to be a Powerade bottle in the mailbox. What did you think when you first saw it? I didn't really know what the heck it was until I opened When I took it out of the mailbox is when I realized um, that it wasn't anything good, so I just chucked it on the ground and called Hooks of Police. The State Police Explosives Disposal Unit was called in. A portion of Ridgeview Drive was shut down while they determined that this was a device designed to explode. What they call a soda bottle bomb, and they, um, they used a water cannon to detonate it and tested it, and it certainly was. The homeowner hadn't gotten the mail since Saturday, so he doesn't know how long the device was in his mailbox. He's hoping it was placed there randomly as a prank, but police caution, it's one that can cause serious damage and injuries. If they locate any device in their mailboxes, in or around, that they're not familiar with and are not expecting any deliveries, that they contact us immediately. So far, Hooks of Police tell us that no other devices have been discovered, but again, they are asking people to be on the lookout for anything that could resemble a bottle bomb. Reporting live in Hooks at Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.